Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today it is Telly Tuesday here at Norman's, and we're going to do a spec check with Brandon Soriano. Spec check! Hey! What's up, Brandon? Not much. What's up, Mike? Not much. I appreciate you filling in while I was gone. Of course. Yes. How was Very your, great. How was your tour, man? Tour was amazing. Met a lot of cool people and uh, a lot of sold out shows, and uh, so it felt good. But you have shows in LA, though. I do. I have some shows coming up in LA May 6th. With, with Angela, Angela Petrilli, Petrilli. at Woo! the Mint. Yeah, we're and then excited for May that. May 25th. Yeah. But we'll, we'll talk we'll about talk that about later. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta really. Yeah. 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 <laughs> show up, please. <laughs> <laughs> please show up. No, Help kidding. us sell tickets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, we do have a really cool guitar. I don't think oh, yeah. I've ever played anything like this. So. No, this is a rare bird for sure. Let's take a um, look. From the Fender Custom Shop, made in 2010, this is a highly limited. Esquire Snakehead. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, dude. This thing is so freaking Live. nuts. And light. It's absurdly lightweight. So let's get that part out of the way. This is a pine body, and pine is a very lightweight wood. And uh, this thing is just absolutely, I think we actually have a weight. This is 6.2 pounds. Jeez. That is so freaking light for a guitar. Six pounds. That's I mean, nothing. yeah, it's like there's nothing even there. But surprisingly, the sound that comes out of it is substantial. Huge sound for such a for lightweight sure. guitar. I think the resonance of the pine probably has to do with that. You know, lightweight wood, it's going to move a little more. Um, so, Basically what this is, this is kind of like a recreation of what you would have seen uh, before the the final iteration of the Esquire and the Telecaster, or the Broadcaster rather, that uh, came out in 1950. So when that guitar was in development, this is basically one of the stages that it landed on. Um, it's called a snake head because of the headstock. This is a three on a side design as opposed to the six on a side design that Fender is of course famous for. And when you turn this one over, you can see the back as well. They're in line, so three in line, three per side. That signature is George Fullerton. Um, if you've ever heard of the brand G&L, uh, that's George and Leo. George Fullerton and Leo Fender. Um, so this is a custom shop 2010 George Fullerton Pine Esquire Snakehead. <laughs> it's kind of wow. a long. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. This is a custom shop insignia on the back. SH of the serial number is, of course, for Snakehead, and uh, 63 is the number in the run that this is. They didn't do a lot of these. You're going to see all the appointments that you would have seen originally. So you're going to get uh, slot head screws as opposed to Phillips head, both on the neck plate and on the strap buttons there and there. Uh, you're going to get a single flat pull piece bridge pickup. This pickup was originally taken from the Fender lap steels. Um, and they made their way into like the broadcat, the broadcaster and the Esquire and the Tele and all that stuff. So this is that style. This is when the pull pieces were still flush with one another before they started height staggering them, which came later on. Um, three brass barrel saddles. So the classic uh, sort of Tele slash Esquire sound there. And of course it is a back loader instead of a top loader. The neck on this thing, it's a maple neck, and it's massive. Huge neck, big like boy. really big boat neck, as you would have seen back in the day. Um, I like it. I've got these I big like hands, and you know, that's yeah. It's, it feels like substantial. Yeah, yeah. You know, it feels like you're you're really playing a uh, a significant guitar. And uh, also the dots on here. I think this is a cool touch that the dots are just like drawn on, like with a little sharpie, kind of like because this would be a prototype, super early uh, remake, and. That's what it would have been. Uh, you don't even get bushings on the top of the tuners. It's very primitive. This is like a primitive electric guitar made by the Fender Custom Shop. Um, and the thing is gnarly. No toggle switch, not even a three-way like you would get on the single pickup Esquires. This is just the pickup with the volume and a tone. And uh, this is the original case, the super rad burgundy white hard shell case with a black interior. It is a G&G &G case from the custom shop. And uh, there's a bunch of paperwork that comes inside. This is, you know, a little bridge cover there, which is highly unusual to see yeah, a bridge cool. cover like that. that. Um, the strap, of course, and the other, you know, various pieces of paperwork that you get from the Gibson Custom Shop. Uh, this one, it's not in the case right now, but we also actually have the original COA from Fender. Uh, it's like framed, so it won't fit in here, but we do have that. So you'll be getting that if you get the guitar. This thing is so rad. It is really cool. Makes for a great Tele Tuesday. 
And uh, you want to take it out front and show us how to. it's done? Let's do it. Let's Thank do you, it. Brandon. Thank you, Mike. Thanks, Thank Jen. You, Jen. Woo! All right, we're out front with the 2010 Fender Custom Shop Limited Edition Telecaster. This has got a snakehead top, really cool. Um, we're also going through a Fender Super Reverb. Uh, there's actually uh, no toggle switch, so we've just got one pickup. So we're going to do one clean and one with a little overdrive. Let's see what we get. Telecaster with the snakehead headstock, really cool guitar and straight to the point. You can check them all out at normansreguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook. I'm your host, Michael Lemo. See you soon. Bye. Bye.